Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good evening, all. My name is Taya Miles, and I'm honored to serve as your moderator for tonight's program. Before we begin, I want to remind you to please double check your cell phones. Please make sure they are off and silenced so we don't interrupt the speakers later on. We will have question and answers at the very end, so please hold your questions until that time. And now I'd like to introduce Kevin Gover, the director of the National Museum of the American Indian. who has a huge fandom in the room, clearly. And he will welcome us to our program, From Tarzan to Tonto, Stereotypes as Obstacles to Progress Toward a More Perfect Union. Well, good evening, everyone. It is uh, really an honor to, uh, to have such a large and enthusiastic group here in our uh, Rasmussen Theater uh, at the National Museum of the American Indian. Uh, a few years ago, in fact, three years ago this month, uh, in this room we held a symposium on uh, racist sports mascots. And uh, we didn't have anybody <laughs> particular in mind, but um, uh, not long thereafter, uh, Dr. Uh, John Etta Cole uh, the director of the National Museum of African Art, and I were chatting, and uh, um, one or the other of us suggested that we widen the discussion beyond sports to encompass uh, even more of the popular culture. Um, and so we're very grateful to be here this evening uh, with the National Museum of African Art, with our magnificent new National Museum of African American History and Culture, um, and it was uh, the, that the three of us should get together to talk about this subject uh, is, of course, a natural choice. Um, I was thinking earlier today, I, I'm uh, just the right age where I grew up uh, every Saturday morning watching The Lone Ranger and Tonto, and later in the day, uh, Tarzan. Um, Johnny Weissmuller was my favorite Tarzan, for the record. Um, but what is troubling uh, uh, about that, of course, I had many ways to, to learn more about Indians, being one, um, but I had no other way in my formal education or really in the popular culture to learn about Africa. And uh, so I knew that Tarzan was absurd, but that didn't solve the problem that I knew nothing about Africa. And uh, um, it was not, frankly, until university that those opportunities really arose. Uh, so this is a particularly appropriate program that we do this evening. I'm looking forward very much uh, to hearing a brilliant lineup of speakers. Um, I want to thank you all for being here, to welcome you on behalf of the National Museum of the American Indian, and to tell you that you are always welcome here. Um, we do have one special thing we want to do. As some of you may have heard, um, Dr. Johnetta Cole uh, will soon be leaving the Smithsonian and entering a, a blissful retirement, I'm sure. Um, after a long and distinguished career as a humanitarian, uh, an educator, and now a museum director, um, we know that John Etta will continue teaching and serving from her home in Virginia. Uh, but uh, have no doubt that we here at the Smithsonian are going to miss her very much. So I'd like to ask um, uh, the acting provost of the Smithsonian, Richard Curran, to join me for a presentation to, uh, to Dr. Cole. It is uh, a traditional thing, it's sort of a new tradition in Indian country, but one that, that means a great deal to us, that um, when someone um, has achieved something of high merit, uh, someone that is, uh, um, has brought benefit uh, to the community, that we acknowledge them and honor them by presenting them with a blanket. And so we would like to do that for Dr. Cole right now. And if you'll give me just a moment.
that was moving. 